Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or hi if you're new, my name is David, and on today, it's going to be a video, basically easy houseplants that I believe that are really, really easy to propagate, um, and it's not going to be like any like regular like top 10 houseplants, and I'll show you the houseplants and how much I like them and stuff like that. Basically, I mean, it might be a little bit of that, but also... I'm gonna be like cleaning them and like you know just removing some dead foliage this this, and that because some of these plants were actually hold on let me fix that if i can fix it some of these plants were outside and i am slowly putting all of my house plants indoors i got a good amount already but i still have a couple more left outside because of winter and i'm like basically wintering them over um, i don't know how you call it but uh yeah so i'm doing it one by one because i want to inspect them for bugs there's still some bugs that get in like it's you know plants like it's, it attracts them um but i'm like in, like i'm starting to clean like after them like even more just to make sure that like nothing crazy happens because now that i'm bringing all my plants inside my house is gonna go back to the jungle vibes again where there's like possibly 300 house plants in my house i haven't counted but there's a lot so yeah um which is amazing and i'm planning in the spring or maybe like throughout this winter and fall selling some of my house plants on, like online um like locally because like i do have a lot of replicas that i've been propagating a lot for fundies and just because i really like the plant a lot and i'm still attached to some so without any further ado like, let's get into the video because i know i ramble way too much so the first one, and by the way, all the plants that I'm showing you, this one was outside. So if there's a bug in here, oh wow. Um, a lot of these plants, well, all of them, I propagated from. This one is called a lemon, no. Yeah, lemon lime marenta. It is the, it's like in the prayer plant family. Hold on. Ah. So it is in a pot, like I told you, I did propagate and I got a random pot. This is a pot from the Kimberly Queen Fern. Oh, I know which one, the Boston Fern. She's outside. I hate her so much because she's so beautiful and I love her so much, but she does not love me. Every time I bring her inside, she drops her leaves. I might try again, but like a small fern and see, because now I have really different um, lighting requirements. I'm also not trying to make a lot of mess because I just bought this really cute rug for my bedroom and it's white. So it could get stains and I have white sheets as well. Okay, I use my device. Thank God I have a vacuum because... So now we're making a mess. We haven't even finished the other plants. It's fine. It's totally fine. We're messing with plants, so what can we expect? Okay, I think this is like I'm not I'm not sure this is good. I did have a really good setup, but my boyfriend had to like um play with like he wants to play with his games. So I I had to give him the desk because like I want him to be happy. Now it's like it's fine. I can just like get something else, like work with something else. So he's using my desk and yeah, so that setup is kind of gone. <laughs> But it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. So, yeah, yes, this is a prior plant. She is having one, two, three, four, four blooms. And she has, like, maybe also, like, four or three, like, flowers that already died off. And a lot of dead foliage. So, this girly was, I think it was, my boyfriend gave it, I was trying to show my, my boyfriend how to propagate this plant, the lemon amaranta. So, I ended up going to my mother plant and what on earth is this i'm telling you guys this thing was outside so it might have some little surprises so yes um i was trying to show him how to like propagate some plants because this is one of the most easiest plants to propagate it really really is especially if you keep the soil moist not wet but moist it will just with warm temperatures like easily so this is why it's on my list because it really really is easy to propagate and it was an apartment so it's i've been here in the new house the new rental home for like maybe five going to be six months so she's been growing for a while it was only with like four or five stems it wasn't water propagation because i wanted to show him like how the roots develop because that was really really fun and yeah but after that he lost interest um which is totally fine um he lost interest on this plant and he told me if i want and i was like sure i got it so now i'm looking after it but yes this is the girly it's also amazing for low light conditions you guys which is really really fun and uh, this is also a plant that's like in high demand a little bit maybe possibly just in my area but there's a lot of people really interested in this plant and i do have a lot of copies of them not copies but like a lot of um propagations i've sold a good amount of these from propagating because they're really really fast to propagate and the way i sell it i just like 
A lot of these plants, the way I propagate is either by like cutting the top or by nodes. I don't like doing by stems, like very very long stems because I know I can make more plants out of that one stem. So I don't really really do that. Some people do it and that's totally fine if that works for you, then that's a-okay. But for me, I want to get more out of my book. And um, yeah, so I do it by nodes and then the way I know it's ready to sell. I, I I need to see new growth on it and that's when I know that okay it worked and then I put it online and then I put it for a reasonable price and people buy it usually I use that money to like buy food or pay bills or buy more plants so that's on that the pot does look like it didn't come with this pot you guys like I said I have a lot of like pots from like Lowe's and Hunt Food because I buy so many plants from them and I have been doing a lot of repotting so um I do have a lot of Home Depot pots <laughs> so um I think that's pretty much it for the cleanup there is a little bit obviously has like um, mineral deposit on its leaves and the way I like to clean its leaves is with a microfiber cloth and we can do a couple but I'm not gonna do all of it because I know this is gonna get very very boring and I don't want it to be too boring for y'all because I have a lot more plants to clean after and I don't want it to be also very very long video because I need this video by I think by today, oh my god, I am a mess a little bit, I'm a little bit messy. <laughs> you guys had an amazing Halloween, this is November the 1st, <clears throat> if you like just saw this as soon as I uploaded it, happy November the 1st, you, um, you guys Thanksgiving's popping up, it's right at the corner, Christmas as well, and the end of the year, I can't believe it. it's cause like I'm trying not to miss an upload, I wasn't taking my time on editing, and I know that my quality is not it's best as it used to be because now i'm posting daily and i do know like it does help the algorithm a lot so somebody asked me like how are you growing so fast i was like just post just putting out a lot of content but it, it there comes with a con when you post a lot it, your quality kind of downgrades because you don't have enough time to like you know make like good edits or like make the video a lot more better <sighs> but i'm trying to grow as well putting out a lot of content because I do want this to be a job um, I'm not expecting it to be a job but it would be nice you know I do love uh, I do love plants and next spring I'm talking to my boyfriend about it that I really really want to like start making more vegetable gardening videos because um, I house plants I've been doing house plants for like I think oh, it's almost going to be three years but vegetable gardening I've been doing it for eight plus years i've been like i know a lot like about i'm not saying i know everything about vegetable gardening but i do know a good amount and i'm so excited because i want to make like raised beds in the backyard and like just uh, just a lot of fun things that i want to do so but that's going to be next spring um or the following spring because we're in fall right now um so two more seasons until that happens so expect some of those videos in the future i'm still going to be doing houseplant videos i'm still going to be posting a lot of plant shopping videos but i'm going to do a little bit of mixed content with vegetable garden videos for those that enjoy that too because i love the idea of growing my own food who doesn't love that idea like making a, a meal and serving it to your loved ones knowing that it was from your backyard and it was from like all the time and energy and love you gave to that garden and it's giving you know a meal for you and your family um that's really really fun okay it is cleaned out it looks pretty good she does need a good um bottom bottom watering session and i am going to give her some fertilizer um that's pretty much it and yeah the reason i'm gonna fertilize is because i see a lot of flowers and i am seeing more leaves if i see any growth on my plants even if it's winter they're indoors um i'm still gonna fertilize it because i want the plant to be happy already plant number two by the way none of these plants are by order i'm just getting it by how i see it this is the this is my first time propagating a fritonia aka nerve plant it is on a four inch pot and it has one two three plants in the pot and basically what i did i just cut off the tops because i was doing research and supposedly to propagate this girly you literally just gotta like cut the top pieces or like stems and it will propagate and i am really happy to say that it is working because i've been seeing new growth and it hasn't died at all considering the fact that i killed free like crazy but i found out why and it's because like I, I i let them dry out for too long and they hate being bone dry but it's really really easy to propagate i considering the fact that i killed nerve plants now i know why but it's really really easy just like just keep the soil moist you guys and give it bright and direct light and if you don't have bright and direct lights grow lights grow lights are literally amazing grow lights i believe are better than like bright and direct lights 
personally because i have some grow lights and i guess because like you can control how many like sunlight is getting compared to like direct light i mean bright and direct light like sun sun diluted light compared to grow lights you can control the light oh my god i'm making no sense but i hope you guys understand what i'm talking about you have you have more control with grow lights but yeah this is a little girly she is working she was very easy to propagate and i actually want to propagate my pink one the fact that i'm looking up close i'm also i should be inspecting for any bugs but really really easy to propagate and really really fun also an amazing low light plant really really great and it also speaks to you when it's thirsty or literally droopish leaves she's very dramatic the next one is this really really cute pepperonia this is the other plant that i also got from like the top of the plant i literally just popped it in soil and it's just it's really firm it has a little bit of sunburn because it was outdoors and it was getting right in it was getting like a good amount of direct light which some might say and argue that um it's not a direct light plant but i, I feel like some majority of all house plants can tolerate direct lights they're outdoors they, they get like sprinkles of like direct lights like in the jungle or like in the forest so but is they say like not on house plants and i totally agree because a lot of the house plants are not hardened um but yes this was really really easy so what i did i cut as you guys can see i cut the top but i'm also experimenting with the leaves so just cutting off with um, literally just a leaf and just pop it in there. It is really, really firm and I don't know. I don't know. But from what I'm saying, it is pretty easy because like I haven't killed it. It hasn't died. And it's actually the one, the top ones I noticed, the ones that I cut from the top that has like multiple leaves. I noticed that it's growing a lot faster compared to the ones that just only have one leaf. It's taking their time. But I mean, it makes sense because, you know, it's not established yet. It needs to develop its roots, its stems. So i totally get it but it's a really really easy plan to propagate pepperonias and i've also heard about it too which is why i propagated mine because i heard so many people saying that it's really really easy and i did it and it looked like it's working um so just saying the next one is my mini monstera uh, also known as raffidora tessiperma i probably said it incorrectly don't laugh at me i I, I bruise easily but oh my god is that a rude no okay um so this girly i was propagating by water i cut so many nodes i sold a handful of them and they sold out like hot cakes <laughs> and this is the only one that i kept i do have some other ones that i'm also propagating because i do want to sell those but this is one that has pushed out new leaves and just looks really really pretty let me show you guys up close you see that little baby leaf it just looks so cute i might sell it because like i do have two mother plants and like i said i'm not trying to have so many plants at the same time and i just i don't think it's necessary i think having two plants of one uh, of one like species is enough it's like you know plant insurance if one dies it's okay you have a backup but having multiple and they have a lot of plants it's just um, compared to the compared on the idea of like giving it to somebody that might like it just might make their day and like a lot more happier and you can use that money to buy more plants to propagate more plants so yeah i might sell this girly i don't know how much yet and i don't know when i'm still enjoying it with this cute little it just it's so adorable i just can't get over the little baby leaf um but yeah super super easy i did it by nose as well and i'll talk about this a lot there's a lot of videos out there about nodes i might make a specific video on what a node is on a plant and how to propagate a plant by nodes and there's also like diagrams on google which is why i'm not talking about it it's like i am talking about it a lot but i'm not really like you know describing it because like there is so many videos about that but yeah so propagating by nodes is my favorite way to propagate plants um super super cute that plant by the way is I've noticed that it can tolerate um, low light conditions, but it will not grow at all. And it, you do not want to water it because this plant also likes to dry out before you give it a good soak of water. Um, what else about this plant? It likes to have its soil like, like almost like succulent soil. It likes to have like good aeration and it likes when water goes through a lot faster compared to like moss, you know, like, like ferns type of soil. They like to keep, that. they like to have soil that retains a lot of moisture and water. Um, this one doesn't like that, so just that. The next girly, it is my Brazil philodendron, and also I propagated by nose. 
and I just love it a lot, especially in philodendrons, because philod philodendrons are really, really easy to propagate, and they're just so beautiful. This is the Brazil, the mother plant's right there. She was one of my first plants. She is about to be three years old with me, and it's just insane how we've been through a lot together. But this is what I ended up propagating. I'm really, really in love with it. It isn't a pot, like, I didn't buy it from my nursery. This pot was from my Trust Star Stramanti that I got from Shades of Greens and she's right next to me in her new pot but like i said i get a lot of pots and i just use those to propagate in them because like where am i gonna buy my pots to propagate on if i have a bunch of them but yes yeah, she's super super cute and this was propagated in the apartment she has i noticed that the super blues which is going to be one of the next ones is a lot faster compared to the brazil the brazils take a little bit of a while to propagate compared to the super blue um but it's so bushy compared because there's like when i propagated i do it by leaves with one node and i put like 10 so there's theoretically like possibly 10 plants in here or possibly more this is the only ones that you see like vining more and honestly if i want to i can propagate that too and just make more this is why i love plants it's just it's so fascinating but yes i i really really like this a lot I like i love it Brazil is one of my favorites. I'm trying to get a, uh, a real Brazil. Basically this one, but instead of being yellow variegation, like a green neonish variegation, it's white. Or a cream type of white, and I love the color white. There is, by the way, this is like a little like side thing. Um, I did order from Bros with Hose, like the plant company. They have the most aesthetic Instagram, and I finally bought my two um wishlist plants which i'm so excited i'm gonna do an unboxing and i just can't wait for you guys to see it i'm still waiting for it shipping was expensive but it's totally worth it because like i'm just so excited so look out for that video it's gonna be very very soon it, i ended up getting it yesterday and it says that it's gonna ship within five days so we just gotta wait for that but yeah so this is the Brazil. She is very full and lush. I might also make another video on how I like to keep on how I keep my um potos and philodendrons very very bushy because like I guess told you like my literally my Brazil is very very old and she still has her old leaves and the top is still like nice and lush. There's a way and I you know I just googled some videos and I ended up finding how to do it and now i did it and now i know exactly how to do it and I, if you guys want to see that video on how to make your potos or philodendrons more more bushy on top let me know because my brazil that's three years old she is so lush and so full and i'm just so happy for her and also my sibu blue where is my sibu blue oh she's right there oh my god i almost forgot i have so many plants like it's just ugh. but yes brazil super super cute also an amazing low light plant it was in my apartments and it was only getting like literally like these type of lights like um fluorescent lights she was growing a little bit and she was getting very very leggy obviously but it's great um really really good in low light conditions grows like wildfire and um better with direct light and the more light you give it the more of the variegation that you see as you guys can see oh my god she's just so stunning i just i can't get over it it's just simply like beautiful but brazil you guys this is another amazing plant a, a really cool like um like i can say beginner plant to like give to somebody <sighs> but it is prone to overwatering. um i noticed that these don't like to have a lot of water because i know we'll start developing the leaves but really really great um it just looks so I just I can't like I mean, it always makes me speechless on how beautiful it is um I can literally start it for days <laughs> so yeah but yeah I might sell her once she gets more like lush and full because I don't I don't want to have too many replicas I already have a lot that I propagated in just know the next one she's a basic girl but she's really underrated by the way these pots they were my old pots like a while back i was sitting like um i was growing like vegetable plants and i was gonna sell them but i was gonna i had to move out from my grandma's house i was doing it at my grandma's house i was living with her for a while and i had to move out and i told her like hey is it okay if i leave all these plants to you like you can sell them you can put a price whenever you want because they were actually like germinating i was gonna like getting ready to sell them in the spring i had like 300 um vegetable plants i think it was no i think it was like almost double and i might do that again this year i don't know be on the lookout for that y'all <laughs> um but 
it sounds crazy like a lot of like you know vegetable plants but I, i'm like i know my i know how to do it like i'm i'm just i'm very passionate with growing vegetable plants and i was gonna sell each pot for like a dollar or two dollars um compared to like the big box stores they charge so much for like vegetable plants it is insane i'm just like you can grow it you can you can buy a pack of seeds with that amount and you have like 50 plants or 30 plants because of the seeds but i mean i guess some people like it because it's really really easy to it's really really easy to um you know because it's already like you know ground i gotta just plop it in your vegetable garden anyway this is a spider plant she is also also known for like her amazing low light abilities um she does like good humidity if you do not give her a good amount of humidity she will start turning crispy and she does not like to dry out and she will become very very pale i know that because i always let my spider plant she's very above she, every time I, I always forget about her because she's so high up and every time i look at her she's like always pale and i'm like oh my god when was the last time i watered her so i just gave her some fertilizer and some water because even then she pushed out babies like by the way, the reason why I saw this topic is because literally it throws out these very long like strings like vines and it has flowers and those flowers become into baby spider plants. It is the most cutest thing to look at and really like insane on how you can just like get a glass, a glass cup and plop that baby in there and the roots grow like so fast from my personal experience like they they're, they're, it's just so fun to look at um it's really really easy to propagate or instead of just putting water you can just plop it in soil because it already has roots um like the little baby pups and boom you have a whole new plant that's literally how i propagated this one i propagated so many of them and i sold a good amount of them and the other half my chickens ate all of it for some reason chickens really like spider plants they completely demolished my spider plants like all of them like all of the ones that i was propagating and it was kind of sad but i was like it's fine it's totally cool so really really easy um to propagate really really fun to propagate um and it's really great for low light conditions like i know people say this all the time but it really really is uh, if you don't have a spider plant, you should get one unless you don't have really really good air Like if you have really dry air, then I don't know because you might get some issues But other than that, or you can just put in your bathroom and that should be pretty good as well But yeah, really really easy to propagate And that's pretty much it on this plant. Next up is my Cebu Blue I talk about this girl so much and I was gonna do a giveaway, but I got so scared when I saw, first of all, the shipping costs on how to like ship out a plant. And then second, I was like, what if I do end up paying for that? And what if I do it wrong? Now I've been watching a lot of videos and I'm getting more confident on to ship out plants. Cause I do, like I said, I keep saying this a lot. Um, I am getting ready to ship out some plants for Thanksgiving. <sighs> I am gonna get to it cause we're already in November. But I just want to say like a way to thank you for everybody that supports me and it will be a giveaway so it's not and not everybody's gonna get a plant. It's, if you enter, um, I will do like a a random like you know pull of like the names. But really really easy to propagate, amazing for light conditions. But give it bright and direct light. You, if you have that, give it to her because she will grow so fast and she will be so so happy. And this is another plant that's really really easy to propagate. Like I can't stress this enough. I don't know why it's so rare and expensive when it's so easy. I've sold so many of these from my own propagations because they're just so easy to propagate and like it's just insane. Like I was selling like this, a little bit more bushy, same size of a pot. Again, this is not the pot that it came with. I just got random pots. I have a bunch of them and I use it to propagate. Um, which pot was this one? It was from my oh my Palia aluminum plant. That plant died, but. <laughs> So this girly, um, but yes, I had like a bunch of these. I think I had like 10, six inch pots that were very lush and full. And I was selling of Cebu Blues and I was selling them for $15 online on my local. And they were selling like, I was getting like three or four. I think like one day I got four people buying that plant and they just like sold out crazy. I might probably get more and sell them more cause like I would appreciate like a little bit of extra cash and you know, it doesn't hurt to probably get some plants. 
but i'm just like people always tell me like how do you got this i'm like i propagated it from my mother plant they're like really I'm like yeah it's really easy like i don't understand why it's so rare and expensive now it's getting more easier to find <laughs> but i'm just like i don't get it but yeah also also i got a comment let me show you the other plant this one i propagated when i first moved into this um rental which i think it was four months already so this is four months of propagating and this plant doesn't look its best this plant has been through a lot it wasn't and it was just dying but now she's bouncing back as you guys can see but let me show you my super blue that i propagated by nodes that one's by nodes and this one is by nodes as well um i propagated this girly when i was when i was about to move out to my apartment so this is already six months of um nodes propagation as you guys can see she is very lush and full and i love her so much i do not want to sell her i think so this, i already have a super blue a mother plant my old one she was also one of my OGs, just like the brazil philodendron when i got my brazil i got my super blue three years ago uh, almost going to be three years ago I need this is this is going to be my second mother plant because she's so damn pretty and I just love how she looks. She's so lush. Oh my god! Like look at this. And I I'm thinking on doing the giveaway on Super Blues and I'm gonna do it by nodes because it's really really easy. When I'm going when I'm because and it's also really really easy to ship out. That's why I'm gonna do it. And I know nothing bad can happen if I do like two day shipping, but um i'm gonna like propagate these by water and i will ship them out um once they have like really good roots so yeah that's basically what i'm gonna do i'm gonna like literally cut these beautiful stems and ship them out to you guys the, the, the winners that enter the giveaway but yeah this is this is her she's doing so so good i'm just so in love with her i give like one to my grandma and i think she ended up giving it to her friend but i might need to give her another one because she you know she doesn't have one right now but oh my god like super stunning someone told me well i don't know why they call it super blue if it doesn't look blue one i mean i totally i get it but one the camera doesn't really pick up like the blue hue you need to see it up and close in person because you can actually see it and then two sometimes you really don't see them in the plants even in person that's because like it's not getting enough light if the plant's not getting enough light she will be turning more greenish than like bluish um and that's just that and the fact that which is also a nice low light plant but again like i said if you do place it on low light she's not gonna die that's one of her pros about her she can tolerate it but her leaves will not be as blue and as beautiful as they would be if you give her bright and direct light this video is very very long i hope you guys are not getting bored of this one but um yeah this is the last plant i'm just so in love with this plant she's so so beautiful i just i can't with her i can't wait to propagate her and like give it to you guys that's just going to be so much fun but yeah you guys thank you so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed this my top easy house plants to propagate um and just thank you so much for watching and i hope you like and see you on the next one bye